So we were discussing about the pancreas. Now the last point of the pancreas. So tail of the pancreas. So pancreas, as I told, it is having head, neck, body, and a tail. So the features of head, neck, and body are clear now. Now the features of tail. Tail it reaches the hilum of the spleen. That's all. See, see the next slide. Let me see. See, this is what the spleen. Okay. So, see, this is what the head of the pancreas, then neck of the pancreas, body of the pancreas. Now, this is what the tail of the pancreas. This tail of the pancreas reaches the spleen, hilum of the spleen, and there it lies on a ligament known as lino renal ligament. Okay, that's all about the tail. So tail which reaches the hilum of the spleen and rest on the lino-renal ligament. So that's all about the tail. Now we'll go to the duct of the pancreas. Now another heading duct or another main important point duct of the pancreas. Pancreas it is having two ducts. One is main pancreatic duct, the other one is accessory pancreatic duct. See, accessory pancreatic duct and main pancreatic duct. See, the main pancreatic duct, see in this image, the, this is what the main pancreatic duct. Main pancreatic duct begins at the tail of the pancreas. See here, it begins here, then it runs towards the right side, through the body. See, this area, this is what the body. Okay, so it runs, the duct begins here in the tail, then it runs towards the right side, through the body, at the level of the neck see this is what the neck see this is the head neck okay at the level of the neck it turns downward it, the course changes see it uh, there it turns downward and backward and uh, runs through the head okay so this is what the course of the main pancreatic duct so main pancreatic duct nothing but it starts from this tail then it runs towards the right side through the body then at the level of the neck of the pancreas it turns downward and uh, runs through the head and uh, reaches the second part of the duodenum i told you this is what the first part of the duodenum this one is the second part of the duodenum then third part of the duodenum okay so here it reaches the second part of the duodenum there it is in close contact with another duct this duct this is what the bile duct so these two ducts joins together to form a bulging known as hepatopancreatic ampulla hepatopancreatic see here in this image it is very clear see this is what the main pancreatic duct main pancreatic duct joins with the bile duct to form a bulging that bulging it is known as what hepatopancreatic ampulla ampulla means we know that bulging everywhere that ampulla means it is the bulging so this bulging it is known as hepatopancreatic Ampulla. This hepatopancreatic ampulla, which opens into the second part of the duodenum through a bulging of the duodenum, which is known as duodenal papillae, major duodenal papillae. So, what is that major duodenal papillae? See here, we can see a conical shaped projection. Okay, this conical shaped projection of this duodenum. See this conical shaped projection, it's a part of this duodenum, second part of the duodenum, known as major duodenal papillae. Papillae, we know that it's a projection. Okay, so this projection which is seen here in this second part of the duodenum it is known as a major duodenal papillae so this hepatopancreatic ampullae opens into the second part of the duodenum through this major duodenal papillae so this is what the major pancreatic duct then minor pancreatic duct sorry accessory pancreatic or uh, accessory pancreatic duct just starts from this head lower part of the head Okay, then from there it runs upwards and reaches the second same second part of the duodenum. There it opens into the duodenum through minor duodenal papillae. See here we can see another small conical shaped projection. See this one is a minor duodenal papillae. So accessory pancreas. Forget about this image. See here something is wrong. So it starts from here. It starts from here and runs upward and reaches this area. And it opens into the second part of the duodenum, same second part, second part of the duodenum through minor duodenal papillae. 
means here inside the pap inside the duodenum there we we are having two papillae one is major duodenal papillae the other one is minor duodenal papillae two papillae one is major the other one is minor so the main duct main pancreatic duct opens through the major duodenal papillae and the accessory opens through the minor duodenal papillae so that's all about the duct of the pancreas clear so it is having two ducts main pancreatic duct i told you it begins at the tail runs towards the right side through the body and it bends at the neck then it runs through the head then it joins with the see it joins with the hepatic duct to form hepato pancreatic ampullae or bile duct it joins with the bile duct to form the hepato pancreatic ampullae and it opens to, uh, to the second part of the it opens into the second part of the duodenum through major duodenal papillae. Then accessory pancreatic duct, as I told, it opens into the second part of the duodenum through minor duodenal papillae. Okay, so that's all about the duct. So duct it is having two ducts. Now the last point: arterial supply, venous drainage, and lymphatic drainage. Arterial supply is supplied by mainly by the pancreatic branches of splenic artery. Then superior pancreatic or duodenal artery and the inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery. We'll see mainly told you mainly it is supplied by pan pancreatic branches of splenic artery. What is meant by that? You have to tell me. Previous slide. See, see here I told you the superior border. See this image. Superior border which is related to the celiac trunk, then common hepatic artery. Then here, see this is what this tortuous one. This is what the a splenic artery see it reaches a spleen here or it is applied to the spleen see when it runs towards the spleen it gives some branches to this pancreas so that is what pancreatic branches of this splenic artery see branches arising from this splenic artery will supply to this pancreas like this so that is mean by pancreatic branches of splenic artery in addition to that we are having two more artery what are they? Say superior pancreatic or duodenal artery and inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery. So the first point is clear pancreatic branches of splenic artery. Now the venous drainage. Venous drainage mainly by splenic vein, then superior mesenteric vein and the portal vein. I told you the formation of the portal vein. We'll see that. See here, here we are having the superior mesenteric vein. And I told you the vein which starts from the spleen on a splenic vein which lies posterior to this pancreas and runs behind this uh, runs towards the right side and here it joins with the, the superior mesenteric vein to form the portal vein that is what the posterior relation of this neck posterior relation of the neck there we saw the superior mesenteric vein joins with the splenic vein to form the portal vein so in these three veins so venous drainage into these three veins superior mesenteric vein then splenic vein, then portal vein. So that's all about the venous drainage. So arterial supply is clear, venous drainage is clear. Then lymphatic drainage into pancreatic or splenic lymph nodes, celiac lymph nodes, and the superior mesenteric lymph nodes. So that's all about the details of this pancreas. The remaining details that you have to read from your textbook. Okay, these are the major points or main points of this pancreas. The main points you read from your textbook and prepare them. Okay, thank you.